Trump. Uh, could they really make it happen in such a short period of time? Yes, Claire. Well, let me start by saying that House Speaker Nancy Pelosi has, previous to this, tried to urge Republicans to act themselves, first by asking President Donald Trump to resign, and then asking Vice President Mike Pence and the Cabinet if they would um, invoke the 25th Amendment, meaning that Trump is unfit for office. But it's unlikely either of these things are going to happen. White House advisers have said there is no way that Trump is going to resign, and it's not looking like Mike Pence is going to invoke the 25th Amendment either, which means that Democrats are likely to go ahead with impeachment on Monday. So they're looking to impeach him on, um, charge him on incitement of insurrection. Now, last time he was impeached, there was, you will remember, a lengthy inquiry into this in 2019. This isn't going to happen this time. Not only do they not have time, but many of the Congress people were actually witness to the events that happened. Mm. They saw the violence on the 6th of January. So there is no need, um, Congress people say, for this kind of um, inquiry again. Well, that's just the thing, isn't it? You know, he's got less than two weeks left in office before the Biden administration takes over. And as you say, it's unlikely that they're going to be able to actually push through an impeachment if they you know, do decide to go that route. So why are Democrats even bothering with this at all? Well, Congress can. So the House can impeach him. And they're thinking that they'll be able to do this as early as midweek. But the Senate is likely to stall them. So Senate leader Mitch McConnell has already kind of indicated that he'll probably stall this out. So they won't be able to have a trial and they won't be able to vote and get that two thirds majority vote that they need to actually remove Trump from office before inauguration day. So that's not going to happen. So why are they doing this? Well, there's several reasons. So first of all, a lot of people, um, Democrats in particular, but also some Republicans, have said that he needs to take consequences for his actions. He needs to be accountable for what happened. But also, there are indications that this could also stop him from running for future office in 2024, for example. Some Republicans say this whole impeachment process is just um, encouraging divisions at such a divisive time anyway. Biden's kind of just deferred to Congress in, in this as well and has refused to sort of comment on, on impeachment proceedings and whether or not they should go ahead. But there are definitely people making a very strong case for impeachment to go ahead. And you're absolutely right. He could be impeached without actually leaving office, but just the process of doing that Correct. would make him the first president ever to be impeached twice in American history. Um, let's talk about something else that's come up today. Social media platforms have been taking action against the president. What can you tell us about that? Yes, so um, he is now banned from Twitter. The um, personal account that he's been tweeting from is now permanently suspended, Twitter said on Friday. He got uh, limited access to the POTUS official uh, US president account earlier today, claiming that Twitter was silencing him before Twitter quickly removed those, saying that this is an infringement on his suspension. Um, other social media platforms have also done similar things. Facebook had banned him yesterday already on Thursday. And um, Google has also said that it's suspending Parler. So this is another social media platform that it's now taken off its app, um, its app store because it says that it wasn't moderating comments that were inciting violence. Apple has threatened to do the same with the Parler app if it doesn't get moderating for its content soon. All right, plenty to unpick there with the social media giants and what they're, how they're handling the U.S. president. Donna Beltaggi, thank you so much for coming into the studio.